Hi, everybody. My name is Sandy Boucher, and welcome back to my Facebook Live. Now, before I say anything else, let me be crystal clear here. You don't need to adjust your volume. It's not your speakers that are going wonky. If my voice sounds a little bit strange, it's because I've been fighting a cold for the last week. Now, don't panic. I'm feeling 100% better than I was. <clears throat> And then I get a frog in my throat just at that timing. Perfect. But I am feeling a lot better than I sound. So no worries. I'm on the road to healing. So this Facebook Live, I did want to point out one thing. It's not Monday. Now, to give you the backstory on that, way back when, it seems like forever now, back in November, December, whenever it was that I did my first Facebook Live, I promised you that I would do a video every Monday. Well, for those of you who have been watching my videos, you know that really didn't work out very well. Week after week, I was shooting a video going, sorry, it's not Monday, got really busy, and I'm shooting it on a Tuesday or Wednesday or whenever I could get to it. And that's when I made a mistake, a mistake that we often make and maybe you've made at some point instead of looking at why it wasn't working and why i wasn't able to shoot those videos i just kept trying harder i was getting upset with myself and telling myself to smarten up and get control of my agenda and all of those things we say to ourselves when something isn't working but we all know that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. But the answer didn't come to me until this morning. And that's why this video, one of the reasons for this video. You see, I realized that my intent for these videos, and I always go back to intent, no matter what the question is. My intent for these videos was to help you get in the right mindset, or to pack a good canoe so you could have an amazing week. Well, guess what? If I'm gonna help you prepare for an amazing week, I can't do that on a Monday because the week's already started. What was happening to me was no doubt happening to you. You were already in the midst of your week. It wasn't time to prepare for it. You were already up to your neck in it. So, ta-da! From now on, I will be releasing these videos on Sunday when you're in preparation mode, when you're packing for the business trip or deciding what's on your agenda for tomorrow. That's when we prepare, before the week starts, not after. So from now on, these videos will be on Sunday. Now, the last thing and the main point of this video today I wanted to share with you last video, which by the way, has over 3,000 views. So thank you guys, you're like amazing. Last video, I said or warned you that I asked you to please don't go into 2018 without bringing your receptionist. And what I meant by that was that gatekeeper that we all can employ. What I wanted you to do and how, what I explained in that video was I wanted you to start from a place of strength, that you have wisdom, you have experience, you have knowledge, and you start from that place, and no matter who's talking to you, no matter how many degrees they have or what experience they have, you receive it from that place of strength, and before you take it in, that information has to get past your receptionist. You stop. You ponder the information. You decide, does that fit with who I am or my values? Do I believe this? And if you do, you take it in. And if not, you discard it. You take control of that knowledge, not because you're better or worse than anyone else, but because you're defining who you are. In that last video, I asked you to use your receptionist even when you're listening to me. And that's exactly what I tell every participant in my seminars. Now today, I want you to take that one step far further, and I hope you realize that you need to employ that gatekeeper 
that receptionist with you as well. Think back to today. Think back to this morning's hours or earlier this afternoon. What kind of things were you saying to yourself? Did you call yourself lazy or fat or ugly or any of those horrible things we say to ourselves? And if you did, I hope your receptionist was on duty to say, mm, stop, no, not doing this. Now that may sound crazy, but anyone who's read my book or been to one of my seminars knows I'm a 10 year domestic abuse survivor. The abuse in my life went on long after those relationships ended because I was abusing myself now with those horrible things I was saying to myself. The good news is you can stop it and all you have to do is employ your receptionist. I don't call myself lazy anymore. I say things like, okay, Sandy, you better slow down, you're making mistakes, or okay, Sandy, maybe you're getting tired. That's the extent of my conversation. It's not negative anymore. I have no desire to be an abuse victim, and I'm not going to be the abuser either. So that's what I want you to take into this week. I want you to employ that receptionist, whether someone else is talking to you or whether you're the one delivering the message. I hope that makes sense. As always, thank you for tuning in. You guys are absolutely amazing. And if no one said that to you today, you are awesome. Remember that no matter what happens this week. Have a fantastic week, and I'll see you next Sunday. Bye-bye.